Thank you so much for taking the time. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, it's crazy. It's almost two years from the day uh, from your main roster debut. So, you know, what's that been like for you these past two years? Is it still like a, a pinch me kind of surreal moment or, uh, you know, hard work is, has it really paid off? It's a little bit of both. It, it's um, definitely a pinch me. Is this real? Is this really happening so quickly moment? But it, it also is a thing of... Um, it makes sense because I, I do work very hard. I'm a person that's, I'm a firm believer in, um, you know, don't just work hard when the opportunity presents itself. You work hard all the time, year round. Uh, you know, my motto is stay ready so I don't have to get ready because being in WWE, opportunities come up very quickly and out of nowhere, you have to capitalize on them. So I think that um, that's really being able, I've been able to apply that to my career and that's the reason why I've been so successful successful as well I've been able to capitalize on all the opportunities that have been presented my way so quickly mm -hmm. what's been your favorite moment from the past two years I know it's still <laughs> still the start of the main roster you know career but uh you know what's been the highlight so far Ooh, it's, it's been so many highlights because so many so much has happened in the past two years um but I mean nothing can really top right now you know out of those two out of the the combination of the two years, it's hard to really top WrestleMania, main event of WrestleMania with Sasha Banks and walking out as SmackDown Miss Champion and then win, winning an SB off of that match. So uh, that's really been the top moment. You know, all the other moments led up into that moment and everything else has led down off of that moment. And now we're right back here at WrestleMania for Dallas. So I'm having another huge moment that where I can make history again. So I'm excited. Yeah, and you, obviously the reason we're talking WrestleMania 38 is this weekend, and I hate to bring up SummerSlam, but Becky Lynch comes back, you know, 26 seconds, I think, right? I'm sure that number is kind of ingrained in the back of your mm -hmm. head. How excited are you to get your hands on her again with a shot, you know, to, to, to win this title? I'm super excited. You know, you can't bring up WrestleMania 38 without bringing up SummerSlam. It's a part of the journey. That's how long this has been going on is since August, SummerSlam and Becky Lynch came back and, you know, I, I always say she wrote off of the momentum that I had and the hard work that I had put in and became champion in 26 seconds. And she's been riding off of that since. And um, I mean, of course, she's done so much more before that. But, um, you know, ever since then, I, you know, I try to stay positive after SummerSlam. I try to find all the good in the situation of, OK, you, you lost the title in 26 seconds, but it's really about the impact. You know, that's always been my why, the impact that you have on people. And that that's going to last longer than 26 seconds. And you can work your way back to the top. And that's exactly what she told me to do. She, Becky told me to get to the back of the line. And I did that. And I worked my way back to the top. And here we are now. And she's been pulling every trick out of the book ever since to, to try to get to me mentally and physically. I mean, literally trying to break my, my throat, trying to take me out of WrestleMania, to cutting my hair, trying to... Uh, so to go through that whole journey and to just have to scratch and claw just to keep myself in the game um, has, has been tough. So now we're finally here uh, past all the antics. We're at WrestleMania 38, where I'm going to be facing Becky Lynch on Saturday. So um, now I'm just here to get my redemption against her Saturday night. Mm -hmm. You mentioned she's trying to get your hair. I know you got a piece of hers. On, on Raw, you know, what do you think of her new hairstyle, her new haircut? I know she just came out with that the other day. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was super surprised to see her in the ring with scissors. I mean, I, I expect any and everything out of Becky Lynch, but never really thought that she would stoop that low to actually try to cut my hair. And I've said it over and over again, do not touch my hair. And she still doesn't. So it was, you know, it's, it's as satisfying as it should have been for the tables to turn around and for me to cut her hair. That's not what I want. Uh, I don't I don't want to be in the ring cutting hair. I want to be at WrestleMania. I want it to be where it's the only two women that have ever won the main event of WrestleMania to be going head to head at WrestleMania. That's what I want. Um, so, of course, you know, and I think it was more so not her trying to protect herself from the hair whip because the, you can protect yourself by just not touching my hair and I won't hair whip you. It was more about just trying to break me down as a person and get to me mentally before WrestleMania. Um, so, I mean, I will say I was nice enough to at least not go from the scalp and give her layers. And I actually thought she looked decent and, and cute with the layers and then she went and got a mullet. So, I mean, if she likes it, I love it, you know? It's, <laughs> it's it, you know, she asked for it. So 
people. She kind of got what she asked for and she likes it. I love it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, right. You bring scissors to the ring. You got to be, you know, worried that the tables might turn and you might be the one getting the haircut. Any, any tips for me? Like, what do you think I got going on here? I know, uh, you know, you're obviously cutting her hair. What do, what do, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I like you got the little, the little part on the side and the scoop over. I think you're, you're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. If I need a trim, I'll let you know. <laughs> I got you. EST of everything. <laughs> perfect, perfect, exactly. Um, you know, we're, we're talking about WrestleMania here and Snickers is, you know, presenting partner for the seventh consecutive year. You know, I know you and some other superstars, Otis and Chad Gable, Happy Corbin, Madcap Moss, Seamus, you're all part of that campaign. So how much fun was that for you guys, you know, working through those ads, through, through those commercials and how great of a partner is Snickers, you know, just for WWE and especially, you know, for WrestleMania? Yeah, I was able to shoot some content with him a little while ago with my husband and, and Angelo Dawkins, and it, it was very, very fun. And but I'm excited for the content that they have created this year. You know, because Snickers and WWE, they always partner together to create this hilarious content. It's always super fun and and funny, and they've created this content so that the the WWE fans can enjoy it. Um, just super excited to see what they come up with this year. You can watch it on the WWE YouTube channel and on TV screens during WrestleMania. So. It's going to be fun. It's going to be hilarious. Um, and it's always one of the things that I'm looking forward to. That's great. Awesome. A little too early in the morning for a candy bar right now, though, probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe later on in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When you're hungry, grab a Snickers, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about WrestleMania and, and the big match with Becky, and there's a lot, obviously so much that always happens around WrestleMania. And I know WWE is currently having tryouts, you know, for its second NIL class. They announced the first one in December. You know, I just want to get your thoughts on, you know, that pipeline that WWE is now creating for the next generation of superstars. You know, I know a lot of them are current or former collegiate athletes, mm -hmm. collegiate track star yourself. So how much, you know, does that help a superstar in the ring and how much does it help you, you know, your collegiate athletic background and get you where you are today? Um, I think the NIL program is is great. You know, I can only imagine what it could have done for me if I could have used that program coming out of college. And, you know, it just creates a clear pathway into into WWE, you know, being a collegiate athlete, someone who you, you really kind of have played sports your whole life. And now you're in college and you've played sports for four or five years. And all of a sudden you're out of college. And, you know, for me, I spent I spent a couple of years just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I knew that I missed that competitive atmosphere, but I, necess I didn't necessarily know exactly what I wanted to do or, or exactly how to get there, or what pathway to take, or, and I didn't have the resources readily available to me right there. So that's what the NIL program, it provides. It provides a clear pathway into WWE, it provides those resources that you need uh, for, the, for these collegiate athletes. And, and um, it's, it's amazing. And, and, I, and I love it because that's kind of my story. You know, I came from a co uh, collegiate athletics and, um, you know, now in WWE, it's, you look at the roster and it's so extensive. It's not necessarily just people that come from rest from wrestling backgrounds because my pathway into WWE was very unique. Uh, I played sports my whole life and I'm excited because now my it's not going to be something where my my pathway is going to be unique. It's going to be even more people that 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 are modeling the pathway that I had, and I think it's really cool because you can kind of see the, su the success that I've had coming from that background. So, you know, we're going to see even more of that happening in the future, and I'm just really excited for this program and the the the, the amount of talent that it's going to bring, and it's it's um it's amazing, and I think that it's really cool what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, certainly. And I know I know someone who has had, you know, uh, th their hands in NXT and developing the next talent. And I know someone who helped you in your career is Triple H. And he came out and and recently retired, you know, from in-ring performing. And I know you posted some heartfelt messages on social media. So just, you know, what does Triple H mean to you, to the wrestling industry, you know, in the ring, behind the scenes, obviously just such an integral figure for, you know, many, many years. Yes, Triple H was such a huge part of the development of Bianca Belair. He was the person in NXT, you know, the very first person that believed in me and put me on the stage and, and gave me exposure to, to the bigger audience. Um, and after the Mae Young Classic, it's always that moment that always sticks with me where we, we had that moment and, and everyone always asks, you know, what did he say to you? And, and I'm like, no, that's, I will never tell anybody that's for me because in that moment, he just gave me affirmation that I was walking in my 
purpose and gave me so much confidence. And uh, to share that moment with him is is everything because when you have that feeling of when you find when you're finally walking your purpose, um, it's just indescribable. It's just a feeling, and he was a part of that, and he saw something in me. And he's been a part of every single one of my big moments. Um, the four pictures that I posted on Twitter, the first one was from the May Young Classic, when I realized like this is what I was meant to do. And I have this this person, this this legend, this man standing in front of me telling me telling me this. And the next picture was when um, you know he was telling me that I was getting called up to Raw, and you know he was kind of like him pushing me forward and giving me the go. And the, the next picture was when I won the Royal Rumble. And the next picture was WrestleMania when I won WrestleMania. So I've been able to share all these moments with him. He's been there for every step of the way. And I just couldn't have done it without him. And, you know, I, I just really appreciate everything that he's done, uh, the contributions that he's giving to WWE inside the ring. But more so for me, I think that the most impactful contribution that he's given is the ones that he's given outside the ring. And those are the ones that you that that's why you've seen so much outpouring love for him on social media. So I know that this is the end for him inside the ring, but this is definitely a brand new start for him in other areas of his life. I'm excited for that. Mm, hopefully you guys can add another photo this weekend. You know, maybe you're holding definitely. a title and, and some more of Becky's hair. Right? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. And, 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 you know, before I let you go, just t tell me, who, you know, who walks out of WrestleMania as, as, as a champion? And, and there's only one right answer, right? <laughs> Oh, there's only one right answer is Bianca Belair. And regardless if it might take 26 seconds, it might take 26 minutes. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It's going to end with the same result. And that's Bianca Belair walking out night one of WrestleMania 38 as Royal Miss Champion.